Hello, my gorgeous ones. All right, so today I am doing my summer favorites, but it's not just my summer favorites. This is a group collab. Yeah, th so yes, I'm doing a group collab with my beautiful friends on YouTube. I have, I've created a YouTube beauty guru growth group. I don't know what I called it, but anyway, it's for us really small channels that are trying to grow, trying to reach our, you know, goals and everything. And we are going to help and support each other with, through collabs, through, you know, just shouting out each other, things like that. So I, I wanted to do collabs in the group, but then I thought maybe we should just do a group collab instead of trying to get match up people. How about this? We just do a group collab. Boom. Then it's all done. So I have created, there's going to be a playlist and it will be in the description box. Please make sure you hit that playlist a few times because, you know, people are going to be putting, posting up their summer favorites in the, in that playlist. And if you are, even if you are not in my group and you're a beauty YouTuber and you're watching me right now and you would like to add yours to your summer favorites to that playlist, the link is there. It is public. You are welcome to do that. I would love to see what your summer favorites are also. So the ladies that are in it, I will be listing their channels, all the ladies in the YouTube group, I will be listing their channels in the description box. Please make sure you go visit them. They are all unique and have really good perspectives on things from Dan Down South with Danny, Sherry Ward, Courtney KH, Divine Diva K, Jenny Pagano, Gadget Lily. You know, there's a there's so many of us in this group. It's, you know, it's about, it's, the group will be in most 20 people. So we are just wanting to, you know, grow and, you know, let let other people see who we are. So if you would like to see what my summer favorites are, and oh, by the way, this is a, I got a lot over here. So if you would like to see what my summer favorites are, don't go anywhere, but I would suggest getting a snack because you're going to be here for a while. Coffee, tea, cocktail, whatever you do. All right, I'll be back. All right, so let's talk summer favorites. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do them in like sections because I kind of okay. Well, anyway, okay. So I had to really think about summer favorites because some things just are you know all year I use. So I didn't want to say a summer favorite because I'm gonna use it you know the rest of the year. So I just went for things that I was like these are more my summer things. These are more summer. So let's talk summer. All right, so here's the first basket we're going to play with. And I'm going to do eyes last. I just decided I'm doing eyes last because y'all know it's, it's, I hang my head in shame with how much eyeshadow I bought this summer. So let's just go ahead. Let's talk skincare first. So for the summer, I have really been trying to be good about, of course, using some sunscreen. So I have this Neutrogena Hydro Burst. Um, water gel lotion with SPF 30 they do make them with 50 and I think maybe a hundred but I got this because I saw Samantha Jane she was talking about it she has oily skin and she said it was really good and I have to agree because I found like some sunscreens will a it doesn't ha it doesn't have it comes out white but it doesn't leave a white cast and so many have broken me out in little bitty bumps. So I've been challenged with it. But this is a great one, great price. Now, that I know there's some other ones that I want to try that are more pricey. But for the price, this is a great sunscreen. It's like three ounces. I have it all year for like $12, $13. Okay, so now when it comes down to, you know, face, because, you know, it's like certain things you definitely change with the season. So during the summertime, of course, hot, muggy, you're going to change up your foundation. I don't wear as much foundation. So what I do, I did do have are some tinted moisturizers and things like that. So one of my tried and true, and I don't even know if they make it anymore. I'm going to be mad if they don't, is this Rimmel Insta Flawless. It's the Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint. And it has a SPF of 15 or whatever, but it also is, this is in medium dark. Now this is when I am trying to look more glowy and more tan than I actually am. Put this on and then put a nice, um, and then I put on like a powder or something that's a little bit lighter. So it gives me, so I don't look like, you know, girl, quit lying because your face is two shades darker than you. But it gives this glowy, you know, almost sun bronzy effect all over my skin. 
I also have started using this Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Skin Tint. This is in 6.5 uh, medium tan, I think it is. I think that's what it is. But anyway, 6.5 tan. And this is a really nice tinted moisturizer. The thing was, I had to remember this was a tinted moisturizer. It's not a foundation, so it's going to lay on my skin a little different. It's not going to give me certain types of coverage, and but it's going to be, but it kept it keeps me from getting too oily too. Because the thing with moisturizers is that you want to have a balance between the tint and not getting too oily. And so this is a really nice one. I do like it. All right, um, hold on, I put something out. All right, I'm back. So usually in summertime I don't know about you but I do a lot of powders you know just a little powder foundation kind of vibe or a really nice pressed powder and just you know use that as my base of course I'm using the Laura Geller baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation in uh, golden medium so I use this all the time now this is all year but I use I do wear it more this time of year and then LA Colors Mineral Press Powder, $2.99. It really does give you a good finish. So if you're one of those like minimal people, this is a good thing because it will, you know, um, it will balance your 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 complexion. Very good. Um, all right. So now when it comes down to the rest of the complexion, I got to be real. Bronzers are always the same because I wear bronzers all year round. But I do change up on blushes a lot. Um, and highlighters are kind of the same too because I was pulling out, uh, out all these highlighters. I was like, but you wear the highlighters whenever. So there's not any specific highlighter types I wear in the summertime more so than others. But when it comes to blushes, I, am, I do have certain ones. All right, so now I just received these this year and I have been loving them for the summer. These are the Milani Floral Fantasy these are their um, rose powder blushes, the trios that they came out with. This is in Floral Fantasy, and this is in Flowers of Love. These are, and here's the thing, if you have the, um, the rose blushes by Milani, the good thing about these is that a couple of them have slight sheens to them. So in each one, like this one, this one right here has more of a sheen to it. The middle one does too. So like usually they're matte. So they have the matte ones, but they also have a little sheen to them, which is so different for the Milani Rose ones. So it gives you this really beautiful glow when you wear these. Cause sometimes I'm wearing blushes more so with shimmers in the summertime. Cause I'm not gonna do all the highlights and stuff. I might just do a little blush on my cheeks, you know, especially when I'm just rushing out the door. With that being said, I do like these Wet n Wild baked blushes they came out with with the Flight, Flights of Fancy, especially this color, which is, I don't know. Oh, mm, Don't Flutter Yourself. So it's Don't Flutter Yourself. So I like this one because this is a nice pale pink. And then if you have a deeper complexion, I wear this a little bit, but not a lot. Is this one in this little beautiful plummy, um, pinky plummy one and this is dare to soar if you can find them they're really nice and then also of course you got to have some pink blushes y'all I got a lot of pink blushes but right now I'm vibing on delizioso pink this is the Milani baked powder blush and the reason why being real is that I don't wear them enough I bought these all because I kept hearing about it. all the YouTubers, oh, for inexpensive Milani powder baked blushes. So I bought them and then I don't wear them. So I said, wench, wench, get to wearing them. Sorry, because I'm putting stuff in front of me. So if I'm leaning forward, that's why. And then a couple of other pink ones I have. Oh, I just got this. This is the CoverGirl. Let me get this out of my hand. This is the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. Now, I haven't gotten anything else out of this line. First, it does smell like peach, but it is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I just have to show y'all this. It's such a beautiful peachy, pinky. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I have it on right now. Yeah, no. Maybe? I don't know. I think I do. I think I do have it on. It's such a pretty color, and it's really, you can wear it really light, or you can build it up. It's a really buildable color. Now, 
gotta have some pinks now i do like urban decay blushes and this is one of my favorites this is crush i don't want to score but i couldn't find it so but this is like a beautiful beautiful pink it's a nice matte pink but it's really good for almost every skin tone this is a beautiful pink so just chow 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 you need to have that in your life all right so next up yeah that's it. so let's talk about nail polish my nail polish changes with the season. I'm pretty sure yours does too because usually in the summertime we wear more bright colors and we wear more like pastel -y colors, you know, those like beautiful like mauves and pinks and everything. So I decided I needed some new nail polish because the one thing about nail polish, nail polish lasts forever. So, but I didn't have these type of colors. So I went out and bought some new colors. These are from LA Colors. And I really like them. I got these at Walmart. They're really nice. So I got this one in love. This beautiful pale pink. I got this one in infinite. And that's like a mauve color. And then I got this one in everlasting. Which is this lavender. Because I've been noticed. If you notice if you're on my channel. I've been kind of. Other than this one. I've been doing like these three. Tonally the same kind of colors on my nails. And so I wanted to have some more of those. You know some to, to work out with. Now next up I have. I bought a bunch of pure ice. So the thing about me is I do have SC, I do have OPI, but when it comes to nail polish, I kind of get in those moves where I want a bunch, and I don't care about it if it's $2. So I bought a bunch of pure ice ones for the summer. Let me show you guys these. And some of them you actually asked about. So here's this purple I bought. So these are the purples. This is Playful Purple right here. This is uh, Sweet Serenity these purples right there y'all see that though in that cute in that cute and then i got this one which is outrageous which is this really kind of shimmery kind of purpley color lavendery color then i got um i got a confection oh, look at that color y'all look at that color. okay so i got that one and then I got this taupe, taupe it off because I was looking because I had taupes, but I don't have like a light taupe. I have like a deeper taupe. So I wanted, like I said, I like to do like the three, two or three colors on my lip. So that's going to be cute together. And then I got this one day to night. Is this not gorgeous? Look at how gorgeous that even looks in there. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. I know you did because I just put it in front of your face. And this is first love because this is like the, that um, iridescent -y white with pink in it very bridal that's a very bridal color and then I got found this one this is happy hour which is this um I, and this I wore other about last time I got my nails done I was wearing this toward the end and I got this and because this is like that tanny that um cre creamsicle color that's what I'm gonna call it now these are some old school ones that I've always had this is an OPI one which is call me whenever We'll just go leave that there. And you gotta have some Essie. Gas to have some Essie. So here's the Essie in Viva Antigua and uh, Oh Behave. Look at this beautiful peachy color. It's it looks like orgasm in a in a um. Let me do that. Hello, come on, come back to me. All right. It looks like orgasm for your fingernails, doesn't it? Doesn't have that orgasmy you know goldy pinky shift peachy and now one of the things of course excuse me i'll be right back gotta get this lip okay i'm back i'm back okay so now of course lip colors you gotta have some new lip colors you know the the colors for spring and summer are like pinks and you know pale lips rose colors you know glossy lips that's what i'm in because i have i you know for years i've been as my daughter said you've always you've been a matte woman forever you matte matte lipsticks matte lipsticks bright pigmented colors even in the summertime i'd be wearing like you know super like fuchsias and stuff and now this season i have really changed it up i'm wearing like more paley pinks and rosy colors because y'all know i had an obsession about my roses and my pinks because i really didn't have any so with the and gloss because gloss 
has made a serious comeback because gloss is like eh, but now everybody wants some juicy glossy lips so let me show y'all what i've been wearing these are the ones that i've worn up more than others because i do rotate and try to wear a lot of lipstick but these are the ones that have been calling my name all right so let's talk about lipsticks. I'll go with traditional lipsticks. This is Toff, and this is a matte, moisture matte that Butter London, they no longer make these like this. I don't know if they still have this color comparable in another name or something, but this is like an older formulation, but it's, this is Toff, it's a pinky color. Y'all are gonna see it. And then this is Steel, and I just bought this. This is Mon Ami, which is a very, um, Look, I'm trying to hold on to everything. I don't know why I do this to myself. Okay, there we go. And this is like this really pretty, you know, rose color. It's a very subdued color. And But this is one of their mattes. Cute. It was like on sale, so I had to buy one. You know what I'm saying? You had to buy one. Right? And I have really started liking the um, ColourPop. Uh, Lux lipsticks. So this is Come On Sis, which is from the Shayla um, collab. And I got to be honest, of the things I bought, I love the lipsticks the best out of her collab. And then Big Break, which is this really pretty rosy color, because I'm looking for the roses. And this is one of the mattes. Yeah, this is like this is one of the creams. This is the mattes. I really like their matte formula. I'm I'm still more of a two person. I still prefer a matte lipstick. But their creams are nice too. They really are really nice. Um, now, interestingly enough, now let me okay. So then I'm going to show you this one, which is my Miami Fever by Ofra, and this is like this really pretty orangey, corally color that isn't too much, but still pretty on the lips. It looks really good with a, a lip liner too. And then I've also been wearing this Latte Matte by um, Smashbox. Because this is a really nice nude because it's not too light but not too dark. Because I wear darker ones in the winter time, but I like a, a lighter nude for the summertime. But it doesn't look like, you know, foundation nude. So it's, it's like right below the foundation nude vibe. Let me show you all. So it's like, it's almost foundation, but it's not. So it's got enough um, warmth in it. It's got enough depth of color so that it's not foundation color. So there, there's that one. Now, the other thing I've gotten into when it comes to lips, which is not normal, are these color, these L'Oreal Color Shine lipsticks. They're kind of like that balmy kind of vibe, so they're not super pigmented, but they have just enough pigment. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I actually saw just recently, I have a YSL one that I got in a Sephora, you know, points perk thing, and it was a mini. And they're similar to this, but I would say comparably these are better because I tried it on and it was like super shiny super wet but it didn't have as much pigmentation as the L'Oreal ones so these have pigmentation along with the shine on the lips so it's like almost like a hybrid now I started out with the glazed pink and the dewy petal because I went and got the pink ones because I was on my pink one stage but then I went back and got this luminous coral, oh my goodness, and this burnished blush. Let me tell you, if you don't get one, get this burnished, this luminous coral. This is such a pretty color. Like I said, they're not super, they give you just enough color. And in the summertime, you know, you could do that like, just like, just kissed look, you know. Whereas in the wintertime, it's more intense because it's cold, you just want to be like, boom. Summertime is more about fresh and light. So these give you the fresh and light look with some pigmentation. Now, and oh, and I forgot my other one is Bali in Love. This is um, one of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits, one of the metallics. Now I'm gonna say this: it can be a little patchy. It can be a little patchy, but if you can do like very light, um, light layers, do one layer, let it dry, put the next one on. It's such a pretty summer color. I mean, it's such a beautiful you know orange cork peachy peachy pinky with the little metallic shift and it's a shimmer as opposed to metallic so it looks really beautiful on the lips like i said this is a little patchy but if you build it up and and it's it's not as drying as the original liquid cat suits so it dries down but it doesn't dry as dry on your lips 
really looks good on okay and now let's talk glosses for the summer glosses 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 now i love my becca these are the liquid crystal lip topper glow sticks you can gloss sticks you can still get these on the becca site for half price for eleven dollars just so you know that's what i'm showing it to you my favorite is rose quartz and seashell beautiful 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 on the lips my buxom ones because i do love buxom and i ain't gonna lie when they go on sale i go crazy and buy a bunch of them so i have leslie which is like this really pretty you know um orangey goldy color um and then i have bellini which is a really classic peachy color for the lips and it has enough because some with buxom you have to like really play with them because some of them can be a little too sheer but you know that's what you want hot toddy is one of my favorites and it's a nude color it's like this brownie nude and pink champagne now this is bees and I, I took it and i haven't given it back but it's pink champagne and it's just like a pinky one so it's a really pretty one and then my other ones that i've really been loving is this these are essence ones this is essence this is a matte 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 long lasting lip gloss so this is like a matte pink and and it's really crazy because it is a matte pink but it does wear like a gloss but it is matte on your lips so it doesn't dry down like a traditional liquid lipstick it still gives you a softness to your lips but it is a matte color and then these are brand new they've come out which is the essence water kiss glossy lip colors I want more of these these are so pretty on the lips you put them on they feel like water on your lips so they're very cooling when they come on they you know they they're not glossy glossy they're semi matte you know they're like a satin finish but they they um, give you a nice wash of color and you know dry down and when they wear away they wear away very pretty so it's like a you know so when you when you notice it it's like oh you still have a flush of color but it's almost all gone so those are the ones that i like of those and now let's talk eyes um so let's just talk first about the individuals <gasps> i forgot this on blush let me tell y'all let me roll back let me tell y'all about this with blush the blush i like a lot of times is like when i'm going out and i'm just gonna throw on something like a little powder i do these dream bouncy blushes that i got from a maybelline they no longer make them this is a, my favorite is peach satin and i have a couple of three other colors but it's really good you just tap it on and it's like the super shots you know and then you just tap it on and i love this these colors because they're really good for summer I, because they give you a really natural look so you just put it on and you can just put this on without any powder or anything and just have like a really full a beautiful natural flush to your lips so sorry i forgot to say that now let's get back into the eyeshadows the eyeshadows we have now two things i'm you know i've been into the like one of the things i've been doing and i am about to do this video is i've been doing this whole you know very minimal throw on a little powder and you know a little um one all over shade on my uh, eye, eyelids and then put a little sparkle on the lids on top of it so it gives it a layered effect doing that i've been using a lot of my liquids so one of the ones of course i have are my steeler ones my enchantress and my sunset cove i've been rocking these a lot and then these BH Cosmetics eye lights are nice too. Now let me say this one, this is the um, Psych, which is this pink one. This is more of an eye topper. So it's it's a little sheer pink. So it, it it's a little different. The gnarly one, this one though, this is gorgeous on the lid. This is one of those types that you can just put on. You know, like if you're doing a look and you want to have a really intense blue, like this kind of shifty blue, that's what you put on because it's going to pop on your lids whereas this one is very sheer so this is something that you would like layer on top of a color whereas this stands alone i also finally got some colors the super shots from ColourPop. i never got them but they had to buy one get one free so you know i bought a bunch i bought a bunch and these are the ones that i've really been using i really like this one which is bubbly which i see is starting to crack already we'll see what how long that lasts special delivery uh so socialize this is a really pretty 
lavender and then this orange color sidekick you know it's got this orangey goldy reflex love it all right so now let's talk palettes and you know if you're my friend and you've been on here you know i've had a this been a rough summer for me on palettes you all know i done bought a bunch of palettes i it, it, i i i i, I Okay, so let me just talk, say the ones that I really love. So I only pulled out a few because I have, and some of them I still need to go through, use a little more. But I said, okay, let's just talk about the ones that you really, really, really love this summer. Okay, so let's talk. So y'all know, y'all know what the first one I'm going to say. Well, why don't we all say it together? Can we all say it together as I pull it up? The Weekend Festival. BH Cosmetics. They got us. They got us with this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Beautiful for every look you need, you want. BH Cosmetics. Now, of course, I gotta say, I have fallen in love with this Sponjack Caftan. This palette is freaking beautiful. And the, the just look at it. Witness it. Witness it. It's gorgeous. And then, of course, my blush tribes. <laughs> Am I going to tear up my Hasina again, y'all? Oh, did I crack the green again? I did. I did. All right. So, blush tribes. I did repress it. Um, it's not, and I'm going to tell you, I don't think mattes repress really well, but... I'm going to try to use it until I order a new one because I am going to order a new one eventually because I do like that palette. And then, but you know what? I got no greens. I ain't going to die. And then the Blossom Palette by Blush Tribe. This, if you are looking for a matte, bright palette, this was the one that started the season. Now, there's a whole bunch of bright palettes that are coming out. Boom. But this one was the one that started the season was the Blossom by Blush Tribe. And it's inexpensive. It's not that expensive coming from the UK. Beautiful colors, beautiful colors. And now I have to give an honorable mention because I just got them. But well, they're so freaking gorgeous. These are the Paradise Collection by Ace Beauty. Let me say this, the indie brands is kicking ass right now. So let's just talk about the two that are really summery. That is the Blossom Passion. Do y'all see those pinks and those reds? And let me tell you, this I haven't played, I haven't put it on my eyes yet, but I will. And it's gonna be lovely. And then here is this one, which is Slice of Paradise. Now this I've already used a few. I've done a look with it. When they come back in stock, y'all need to get these. I'm just being honest. These. And today, right now, I'm actually wearing this, the purple one, which is Paradise Fallen. So I have that one on, which is, you know, the deep purples. This, this is going. This is fall. This. this. Okay, so. I had to give an honorable mention because I cannot, I, I, until I, I haven't worn them a lot. Like I said, this is my second day because I only got them on Wednesday. It's Friday. So this is my second time using them and I am really impressed. But anyway, oh, and one last thing. Because it's summertime and you got to have your summer go to lap, your summer go to sunglasses. And these are mine. I got these in Houston when I visited my friend Char in like May for Mother's Day. And I get so many compliments when I wear them. People are like, oh, I love your glasses. Now, the only thing is my lashes right now are hitting them. So it's a little, but otherwise, I love them. But that's it, y'all. That is it. That is it. This is my summer favorites. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what are your summer favorites. What are you using? 
tell me about them tell me about them tell me about them and don't forget to go and watch the ladies the ladies in the play in the group collab please hit the playlist make sure you go back and watch them all it should be about 10 videos in there eventually everybody is putting them in as they finish them i would love for you to just watch them all oh and if you're new and you're just getting here and you made it this far because this is a long ass video so if you stayed this long the only polite thing to do is on your way out to go and hit that subscribe button go and do that make it happen all right we'll talk later it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, and always be free.